Hi, I'm Kristen Finney, and you're watching Green Publishing's Madison Now, your source for the latest news in Madison County. In top news, on Friday evening, April 12th, three people were killed in a house fire at a residence being rented by Tiffany Miller. According to Pinetta Volunteer Fire Chief Alan Shadrick, it appeared that the fire had apparently started in the kitchen. He said when firefighters got the call, the home was fully engulfed, but that the fire was kept to a minimum. A father, Abraham Shara Moreno, 32, and his two children, Brian, 5, and Cyana, 3, died of smoke inhalation. The home was a total loss. Shadrick said that the family did not get an early warning because there were no smoke detectors in the home. Shadrick urges the public to install smoke detectors in their homes and to replace the batteries when the time changes each year. An account has been set up at the Madison County Community Bank in Miller's name to help with funeral expenses and to replace things that were lost in the fire. Internet cafes have been springing up all over the state for the past couple of years, but that is now a thing of the past. Internet cafes are now illegal in Florida. Governor Rick Scott signed a bill Wednesday that bans up to 1,000 storefront operations across the state. The new law took effect immediately after Scott signed the bill. Thelma Thompson, an iconic figure in the town of Lee, passed away on Monday, April 15th at the Madison Health and Rehabilitation Center at the age of 93. Thompson spearheaded the effort to get the public library established in Lee. Thompson also led efforts to establish a Lee Homecoming Day. For over 20 years, the event, which became known as Lee Day, was held, bringing thousands of people to the small town of Lee. Thompson also served as the city councilwoman for the town of Lee. In local news, in a Leon County courtroom on Wednesday, April 10th, Judge Augustus Aikens filed a motion to dismiss all charges against former Madison County Supervisor of Elections, Jada Woods-Williams. Williams, along with eight other individuals, was arrested in November of 2011 in a voter fraud investigation stemming from a 2010 school board race with an unusually high number of absentee ballots in one precinct. The group of nine people became known as the Madison Nine, and Williams, as supervisor of elections, was charged with 17 counts of neglect of duty and misdemeanor. With the dismissal of the charges against Woods, the Madison 9 has become the Madison 2. Madison will appear on the big screen after being filmed as a stand-in for Miami in the movie Hidden Agenda. Sets used in Madison were Police Chief Gary Calhoun's office and the alley beside the police station, which doubled as the crime scene. Hidden Agenda concerns a legendary Miami detective named Matthews, a talented crime solver who can usually crack a case right from his office. However, when an aggressive serial killer comes to town, it isn't just another case in the dockets. The threat brings Matthews out of his office and even out of his precinct as he desperately tries to find a kidnap victim before it's too late while his world begins to unravel around him. It's a crime drama that is much, as much a psychological thriller as it is a serial murder mystery. Hidden Agenda will be coming soon to a theater near you. Madison resident Tom Reeves is being considered for a very prestigious honor. The First District Court of Appeals Judicial Nominating Commission met on March 27th and 28th and submitted six names, including Madison County Attorney Tom Reeves to Governor Rick Scott to fill the vacancy created by the retirement of Judge Marguerite H. Davis. Good luck, Mr. Reeves. In school news, 13 members of the Cowboy Colors Color Guard competed at the state level in Ocala over spring break. The final results were three superiors out of three judges. For the first time in NCHS history, an auxiliary guard unit has conquered the state title. This milestone seems to go along with the other fine accomplishments turned in by the Madison County High School bands this year. Later this month, the MCHS Concert Band vies for state dominance in Niceville, and they would love to have the same results. In 1960, Project Talent assessed the aptitudes and abilities, hopes and expectations of 440,000 high school students from across America. The study was conducted by the American Institutes for Research and the United States Office of Education. 
Members of the classes of 1960 to 1963 from Greenville High School are asked to contact Project Talent at 1-866-770-6077 to register their interest and provide details of where they can be contacted to receive further information. In crime news, the state attorney's office has refused to prosecute Cliff Richardson and his girlfriend Heather Webb following a March 3rd arrest for going through a physical barricade on the river during the time that the Withlacoochee River was flooding. Richardson and Webb were apparently trying to check out how far the river had risen since the flooding had begun. Richardson was trying to get through when the couple was arrested. Webb said that she is grateful to everyone who stood by and believed in them following the arrest. With the help of a grant from the Florida Department of Transportation, the Madison Police Department has added a new traffic enforcement vehicle to its fleet. DOT representatives Pete Cohen praised Chief Gary Calhoun for his dedication to public safety, adding that Calhoun also sits on the Impaired Driving Coalition. Cohen explained that when it comes to the grant money, Florida is divided into three groups of counties which are judged on eight different categories. The rankings in these categories were used to determine which county was most deadly in terms of traffic crashes per capita and which was the least. Madison ranked fairly high in the top 10 and the DOT feels that the counties with the most deadly traffic issues to deal with needs the most help as far as funds and equipment to curb dangerous and deadly behaviors behind the wheel. Beware of calls that may come to your house or cell phone from a Jamaican telephone number. The number will appear as 876-851-8705 and will show up as a Jamaica call on your phone's caller ID. One woman called Green Publishing about the scam. She thought it was her brother who had been talking about moving to Jamaica calling her. The voice on the other end sounded familiar, but the caller began telling her about a package that he was unable to send to her address and asked that she wire him money for it. Immediately, she knew that it was not her brother, and she told the caller that she was calling the law and reporting the number. If you get such a call, if you have caller ID, do not answer. If you don't have caller ID, immediately hang up. The Madison Police Department would like the public to be aware of the postcard scam. The scam works by receiving a postcard in the mail. The postcard states that the recipient has won a gift card to Walmart, Target, or similar stores and asks the recipient to claim the gift cards by calling a 1888 number. When calling the 1888 number, a person with a Middle Eastern accent will answer and direct the recipient to pay a processing fee of $6.95 or $3.95 by using a debit card or credit card. Once the recipient provides the debit card information, the recipient's account can be accessed. If you receive one of the postcards in the mail, simply throw it away. For more information on this scam, contact the Madison Police Department or you can search postcard scams on the internet. There are many upcoming meetings in the county. The Lions Club will meet on April 23rd at Shelby's Restaurant at noon. The Rotary Club will meet on April 24th at noon at the Catholic Church Fellowship Hall. The Kiwanis Club will meet at Shelby's Restaurant at noon on April 25th. Here is a full look at a list of upcoming April meetings. That's all for this episode of Green Publishing's Madison Now, your source for the latest news in Madison County. I'm Kristen Finney. Make sure to tune in in one month for a new episode. Thanks for watching.